In the first stage, we note the drying of wood located on the base at about 300 degrees centigrade. The wood warms up and the water in the wood becomes vapour. The vapour skims the wall of the firebox at about 70 to 80 degrees centigrade and it condenses. At point B, we can notice the drops of condensing vapour. The drops of condensed vapour make liquid tar and fall on the hot base, which is at about 300 degrees centigrade, and causes a new cycle of evaporation. Point C. The phenomenon continues until the wood store is empty and all the wood is burned. If the temperature of the wall and of the water into the boiler is high, more than 70 degrees centigrade, it forms a layer of solid tar that has a protective function. If the temperature of the wall is cold, the steam tar mixture will remain liquid and will continuously wash the steel wall with a strong corrosive attack. That's why the wood must stay in the store for the shortest possible time and the boiler must be charged with a quantity of wood proportionate to the heating demand. If the wood stays in the store for a long time with the boiler on standby and the ventilator switched off, the phenomenon will increase. For example, in order to produce hot water during summer, it's suitable to charge the boiler only with the wood necessary to prepare the storage, preventing unused wood from remaining inside for more than two to three hours. This corrosive phenomenon is increased further when we use wood from trees which have grown on strata full of sulphur, of manganese and acid waters generally. This causes a higher acid level in the combustion process. In this condition, we suggest the use of Arca models with a firebox in stainless steel. In these conditions, stainless steel fireboxes last about three times longer than carbon steel.